This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Capricorn. <clears throat> Just keep in mind, these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Capricorn. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this week. Wow, a lot of blessings coming into you this week. Yeah, you have been toiling and working very hard on something. It probably has to do with someone that you are trying to have a relationship with. But you see this person as wanting a new relationship with you or you wanting it with them. But it is causing you some anxiety as to why this person is not coming towards you. Because you are communicating, you are probably talking to each other on the phone, sending messages. But there seems to be some type of disconnect here. And a decision needs to be made, either by you or this person, as regards to the lack of attention and love that is being shown in this relationship. But there seems to be a turning around that is coming, a gift from the universe to you, and great fortune in regards to happiness and home and life and all that sort of stuff. All right? So whatever is going through your mind at this point in time, know that it is going to have a positive result. All right? So let's see what is happening with the tarot. Let's see what is happening in the towers. Spirit messages for my Capricorns. Messages for my Capricorns. so at this point in time you're single you're independent you're taking care of yourself and you're being carefree and living your best life but the person you're connecting to you may believe that they're sneaking around on you or definitely with someone else so you have decided to take care of yourself take care of your family take care of your own situation because the anxiety that is coming is coming from something that you are not sure about. There is something that you know is being hidden from you, either by a Pisces or a Cancer. And this is causing you to be in this energy of fussing, procrastinating, trying to be in control. And this is causing a drift in your own mental state. It could be a fire sign you're dealing with, Aries, Leo or Sag. But you are waiting on this person to come back towards you. To come back towards you and offer you stability and offer you commitment and offer you love. But things are definitely about to be moving in your favor. Things are on your side. Luck is on your side and in your favor. Something is definitely coming back around for you. Yep. Now that you have achieved your independence, you're no longer dependent on this person. This person may have broken your heart in the past and you had a lot of issues and anxiety as regards to it. But as for right now, I don't see a reconciliation or a healing with you and this person. There seems to be a disconnect that is causing you some anxiety and stress and frustration. But things are balancing out even though you don't see it at this point in time. Things are working in your favor and you need to trust the divine that everything will work out for you. There is definitely a disconnect, like I keep saying in this relationship. There is a question of someone's loyalty and love for you. <clears throat> there was an ending here where you felt ultimately betrayed, but you're finally getting over it. And you're, you're finally making a choice that is right for you. 
could have to do with an Aries Leo or Sag, but you're ready to explore your own passions right now. You may be moving slowly and strategically to stability, but you are trying to get there. Yep. Because right now, stability is the one thing you don't have in your love life, in your finances, in your mind. There seems to be an off balance of some sort. There is a definite misalignment here for you guys. Yeah. A reconciliation between you and this person at this point in time is not going to happen. Because they are being defensive against you. They are standing their grounds and they definitely want to have victory where they are the right person in this connection. So whether they wronged you or not, they are not going to give up on this to resend their decision of being right. This is causing you to be unhappy. It's causing you a lot of stress. I feel that all in my shoulders. You may have some regrets about the relationship and you are definitely missing this person. Could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. But they are being strategic while you are in your emotions. Yeah. You're like, you, you can't function without them. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling like there's no way out. There is no new beginning for you. And you are indecisive as to how to, pro how to proceed in life. But a tower is coming or a tower is here where you, you are definitely going to see this person for who they are. There is definitely a shaking up happening here. There is definitely some upheavaling taking place. But this happens when you need to look at something carefully. You're going to have a perspective change. The, it, whatever is false is definitely going to be torn down and replaced with whatever needs to give you a stronger foundation in life. All right, so let's see what is the best advice for my Capricorns in this connection. The best advice for my Capricorns in this connection. The best advice for my Capricorns in this connection. Alright, so you see this person as being your person. You're very sexually attracted to them. You believe that they are honest and forthcoming with you. But there is a lot that they are hiding from you. There is definite secrets here that is causing a blockage between you and them. But I do see in the future there is going to be some abundance. So there is just probably something that you need to learn from this aspect of the relationship to take you to a different level and a different perspective and, a, and change you in somewhat way. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help you. Have a good one.